Hi everyone and welcome to In Wine and Design. My name is Kimberly. Today we're going to be painting a really beautiful cow painting. I'm going to walk you through what the materials are um, so that we can complete this painting. So first off, I have an 11 by uh, 14 size canvas. Mine is long ways. The painting is a little bit more square. So even if you have a smaller square canvas, you should be fine. Just make sure that it's wider towards the sides. Next, we have our colors, yellow, red, white, aqua green, blue, and black. Next, we have our paper towel or our rag. We have our container with water. We have our brushes. The brushes we'll be using today for this class are going to be our large background brush. Okay, something that we can use the background for, okay? It's gonna make it a lot easier. Okay, and notice our brush is fluffy. When we put it in the water, it's gonna soak up the water like a sponge, okay? So keep your mind on that. Next, we have a square brush. Okay, medium, not too big, something that you can do smaller details, but still cover enough space. Then we have our round tip brush that comes to a point. This helps with more of like a hair texture, with leaves, um, nostrils, things like that. And then we have our detail liner brush, our fine one. And this is going to be for fine lines, for um, outlines in the eyes, for extra hair detail as well. So these are the colors we're going to have. Make sure that you always clean off your brushes when you're done using them so that you don't ruin them um, and they don't have a lot of uh, paint dried up at the edges there. We want to take care of our brushes, okay? So when we put our brush in the water, we're going to be starting off today with our large background brush. Oh, one more thing. We're going to need a fan. I did not mention that. If you have a fan or a cardboard or a hair dryer like me, which is going to actually help my process go by a lot faster, go ahead and pull that out. Um, we are going to be working in layers, so in order to move a little bit quicker, we are going to need to blow dry our stuff or air dry it just to make sure that our transition um, goes by smoothly, okay? So we're going to be starting off first with our large background brush. Like I mentioned before, our brush is like a sponge. It soaks up all that water. So you want to make sure you kind of just kind of Open it up, push it around, make sure that it's not dry, that that water is really well in those bristles, that it's softened up the bristles a little bit. You're gonna just tap it slightly to loosen up some of that water. And when we come in to start mixing it, we wanna squeeze all the water out to make sure that it's fully combined with our paint. Our paint is sticky. So we are gonna want it smooth, but we're not gonna want it runny and transparent. If it's too watery, add more paint. If it's too sticky, add a little bit more water. Okay, so we're going to start off first. Um, we are going to be using our large background brush to sort of outline where our cow is going to be. So we could go ahead and paint in the background, okay? So we're going to start off first with a little bit of that white. And I'm squeezing my water out of my brush. making sure that it's nice and mixed in. If it's too see-through and watery, I'm adding more paint little by little. I'm not mixing it right in the middle. I like to mix my colors on the sides to ensure that I still have a pure color in case I would like to use it later on. So I just use the sides to do my mixes. So I'm picking up that white. To that, I'm going to add just a tiny little drop of aqua green. Why? I'm gonna start to create the outline that I mentioned before. So first off, we are gonna be starting off from the left to the right, why? We're gonna be starting from the top of the ear. We're gonna curve down. We're gonna make the top of the head a little bit taller. And then we're gonna make the ear towards the right hand side a little bit wider so that we can take up this space. So we're going to come down from the left hand side towards the bottom about four fingers, depending on how chunky your fingers are. Okay, mine are a little chunky. So I'm going to go about maybe four or five inches from here. Hopefully you can see my outline. I'm going to add a little bit more aqua green just so that you could see it a little better. There we go. So I'm curving about two thirds of the ear curving down. Then I'm coming that is about maybe a hand's width of an ear, okay? So it's about as wide as my hand towards the right. From here, I created just a little arc. 
from here, I'm coming back up and I'm creating the top of the skull. The skull is going to be right here, but we want to make it a little bit wide. We don't want it to be too narrow. It's going to look too skinny, right? So we want to make sure that we can expand the head. You know, we want to give this cow a presence. You know, we don't want it to make it look like a little skinny wheat cow. We want to make it look juicy, right? Beautiful, majestic. So we're curving the side of the head. And this is about maybe a hand and a half, maybe two hands if you would like it. From here, I'm curving out just a little bit, just inclining. This would, is going to be the eye line. This is where our eye is going to be located. That is why we're coming to a slight point here. Let me grab a little bit more of that aqua so you can see it a little better. See, you can see how I kind of have a point there. From here, we're going to bring it down. And we're going to start to curve it in a little bit. And that's going to be the snout. Okay. Then up here, right before this little bump of the eye that we made from the top of the head, equivalent to where this ear lines up across. So let's line this up. It's right there. We're going to come out slightly and then come back down making a slight almond shape. You can even go in slightly into the head there. There we go. So we're gonna go in, see here we already start to have the shape of the head. If you wanna start to form with this aqua green, you don't have to, but if you wanna just get a little bit to form the side of the head here, so you'll just kinda of have to get an idea as to what it looks like. See, I'm starting to curve in around the snout on the bottom. It looks kind of like a circle, but I'm not closing the top. Okay, right in the middle. So I'm coming in, curving up on the right towards the left. And then on the opposite side, about a hand's worth of space, maybe a little bit more hand and a finger. We're gonna put it right in the middle of the head. We're gonna make sort of a, like a little section holding it in, two little brackets. From here, the side of the jaw that way. And in the middle of the nose here, we're just gonna bring it up slightly. Okay, we're, remember we're not looking for a dark color. This is just to sort of guide us. Right in the middle, making a line. And I'm bringing that down. See, and we already have most of the shape of our cow here. This is gonna be erased with some gray all of this is going to be shaded in with some gray. You can come in and complete the ear also as well. See, and we more or less know what our cow is going to be looking like from here. We're just pre-sketching it, more or less. See, here it is up close, so you can see it a little bit better. See, so we're basically looking for this outline on top, okay? We want this to curve up here. We did the ear. Next, on the side of the head, we want it to curve in. We want to make the shape of the skull. And we want to just bring that down. Okay, so that's what we're going to begin to focus on now. <clears throat> so I'm coming in with this brush, picking up a little bit more of that water, picking up some of that white, and I'm bringing that white into the corner of my aqua green, trying to make it a little bit minty. From here, I'm going to begin to add just a drop of black. What? Yes, black. Why? We are wanting to make it a little bit gray. It's going to be like an aqua green gray color, a little bit off. We want to see that combination in there. See that? It's like an aqua grayish color. And I only added just a tiny little drop of black. I created this gray. If it's too dark, you can always combine white on the canvas itself. So we're going to begin to fill in this bottom section. Again, if it's too dark for you, you can pick up some more aqua green if you think if you think that maybe there's not enough color in that gray for you, remember we are trying to keep it a gray color. You can do that. See how it starts to turn it a little bit more 
aqua color instead of grayish, even though we are looking for gray. Again, it's your taste. From there, if you, you're like, maybe, oh, mine is a little bit too dark, so you want it lighter. You could just come on and combine the white directly on top and start to mix that color on here. Start to feel what it feels like to spread that acrylic on top of the other previous painted acrylic versus painting it freshly on the canvas. Try to focus on that. Don't focus too much on what you're doing. Just try to keep it on the outside of the, of the face. And you can begin to add those colors there. Hmm, I'm gonna add a little bit more of a highlight. So I'm picking up some of that white. Hey, you know what? I like the gray. Then you can make a little bit more of that gray and combine gray directly on there. You see that? Feel comfortable. Focus on this section. Again, try to stay on that side of the, of the lane here. And you can start to bring that towards the top of the ear as well. And continue to go back and forth. We wanna get this really nice smooth paint transition of a combination of colors. You wanna come back with maybe a little bit more white. Again, if you like the gray more, add a little bit more gray. Say that you like the vibrancy and color more, then come back with a little bit more aqua green. There's a lot of options, okay? So we're just gonna come in. Again, if you start to see the waffling of the canvas, if you start to see the material in the back, of course, you want to grab a little bit more of that white. You want to add a little bit more water to your paint to make sure that it's nice and smooth as you're applying it. So up here, once we start to get to the top here, you're going to see a slight shifting in the color. Okay, what's going to happen? Here, we've been sticking to basically just the aqua green, right? So as we start to work our way towards the top, we start to actually add in just a tad bit of blue. And that's why I said we only needed a little bit. So you're going to start to just a little drop at a time, start to add in more blue. We're going to start to get more of a vibrant color here. Very slowly, lightly going over the top with the color. Picking up a little bit of that white again. If you want it a little bit darker, you can pick up a little bit more blue and start shifting the color a little bit. See, there's a slight change now in tone. Why am I saying tone? Tone is a color that has a gray mixed into it. If I would have had it been just a color mixed with only white, I would have said tint. Okay, that's what that means. Tint in our terminology means to add a little bit of white to it. To make something darker, you call um, the term shade. So you'll say, oh, pick up that shade. So it's a color with only black added to it. Different varieties, doesn't have to be too dark. So I believe it would be the shade of gray. Hue is the color just in general. The primary red, blue, whatever title it is, that is the hue. But when a color is mixed with white, it's called a tint. When a color is mixed with black, it's called a shade. And when a color is mixed with both or gray, it's called a tone. So here we're starting to get it a little bit darker. Here I want to see you add a little bit more blue to your aqua green. And then we're going to add black directly to that to make a darker gray. Look at this color right there. Nice blue. It's blue with a little bit of the aqua green and black. So we made a darker color and this is what we're gonna be adding towards the left side. It is mostly on the gray cups in on the gray side of the scale. So if you wanna add a little bit more black than blue, that's gonna give us the final result. However, again, if you like it, specifically being darker blue, then you could go ahead and stay with that. See, We're starting to get that change there. You can even come in with directly gray and scrape that on to start giving it some movement. If you have a canvas that's wrapped on wood, go ahead and paint in the sides. Again, as we go towards our right, our right side is lighter. 
And we do see it get a little bit darker once we get here. But you can always go back and play with the color a little bit more. Okay, so I'm giving give you guys a little bit of time to work on that background. Give it some time. And then we'll be moving on. Now that we're still working with our grace, we're going to be using our large background brush. Okay. And we're going to be picking up some of that gray. So we're picking up black and we're going to mix it in the corner of our white. Okay, so we're keeping up this dark gray. From here, we're going to pick up with a corner of our brush. Make sure that you dry it off. We're going to pick up a little bit of red. Okay, we're going for a slight gray pink color. We want it to be a little bit on the blush end. Okay, and this is going to be the inner part of the ear. Okay, so it does look a little bit blush. So we're going to come in and we're going to begin to fill in the bottom part of this ear. We're just bringing it across. Okay, we want to press and the corner of our brush as we press leaves a line behind. That is beneficial to create a shading effect below an ear or whenever you want to create an outline, it helps you out. Okay. Come in a little bit more of that. Go over it and you can curve it so that you can have it to a point. Next, we're gonna pick up a little bit more of that white and add it to that pink that we made that gray pink. And we're gonna make it just slightly lighter on top. So we're gonna come in and we have two colors to what seems to be fading to the darker color below. Same thing on our left side, it's gonna be lighter towards the top. Gonna be that gray with white and a little bit of red. And as we go darker, it's gonna be the darker. Again, this was gray with red. It's gonna be darker as we go lower. Again, remember when you press hard, that's when you leave that line behind and it helps for making outlines around things, exterior lines. And there we go. With that same gray, the darker gray, again, black with white and a little bit of red. Remember, that was the gray we're using. We are going to come in and we are going to fill in the snout. So remember again, it was gray, black and white with a little bit of red. And we're filling in that snout. You guys can add just a little bit more red to the sides there. 
And this is what we what it's got to be looking like. I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to catch up, and then we'll be moving on. All right, guys. So moving on, we are now going to be working on the face. So we are going to be picking up our round tip. You can also go be from between your round tip to your flat brush. You know what? Let's start with our flat brush first. That way we can cover more ground and then use our round tip. So we're picking up our square brush. Hopefully this has dried. If not, that's fine. We'll get some color combination in there. It doesn't have to be too dry. So I'm coming in, making sure that my brush is nice and hydrated. Okay. Tapping it, picking up a little bit of water. I didn't get to the side here. I want a clean section of white. Okay, so again, I like to use a corner. See, really awesome right here. So we're going to start off first just by painting the outside here. We're beginning to add our first coat of this white. Okay, we're beginning to sort of paint the snout a little bit more, bring it out the way it's meant to look. I'm bringing it out just a little bit. It has to have a little bit of space here. And I like to use this kind of pink gray that we've been using for the shadows that are gonna outline the face. And I'll explain right now what I mean. Okay, so make sure that you still have some of that gray that you made earlier for the shadowing sections around the ears. Okay, I'm adding some of that white. I know you can't really see it right now. If I add it a little bit, I'll move it around so you can see. I'm literally painting over the full face right now with some of that white. I'm adding some water in there, making sure that my white is nice and viewable. I'm kind of going to go around the ear a little bit over the top as well with just some white. Scrape that in a little bit. Again, this is going to be the first layer. I'm scraping that in on the side as well. See how it's starting to look like hair. I'm preparing the base for when I actually start to add my grays in there. I have a little wet section underneath. See, let me see if I can make the glare. You see it? Right now I kind of have part of the face painted. I think you guys can see the glare on there slightly. Can you see? There we go. Right, so I'm coming in and I'm adding more white on the face. Coming in on the side, going around the head, over the top a little bit, starting to add a base for when I go in with some hair. I'm going to actually go in and just scratch it up over the top, painting over that dark blue. Same thing, going over the top of the ear, scraping it a little bit in. Scraping it over the top, nice and rough. It doesn't have to be a straight line. It could be a little bit rougher towards the top. Same thing underneath. So I'm filling in that head with some of that white. Okay. And I'm going to start to shade in the face now, just so that you can see it a little bit better. I'm coming in with some of that gray that you made. Again, it was the black with the white. If it happens to have just a little bit of red on it, that's fine. And we're gonna to start to define the face a little bit. Whoa, that is way too dark. We want it on the light side of the spectrum. There you go. See, that's a lighter gray that we have on there. So we're gonna to start to sort of start to define the nose first, okay, the snout. So right up against it, we're gonna come in and we're just pressing and then pulling. That's why we're able to get that scratchy look there. We don't have too much paint on our brush. Okay, I barely have some of that white. You can see my brush, okay? And I'm just scraping it to create that look. I'm not even all the way up yet, just a little bit up towards the snout. I'm gonna start to create kind of like a point. It's gonna funnel out. Make sure you still have a white section on the right hand side as well. Okay, you're gonna outline that with the gray towards the right. See that? The gray is gonna come out towards the side. If you don't have that gray section there, you can come in with some white and just fill it in with some of that white to make sure that it does stand out there. This side also is just plain white on the left. Okay, so as we're coming in with that gray, grayish white color here, we're gonna start to 
create some lines going down as well there. Kind of inclining sideways from the top left to the bottom right. Creating some lines and we're beginning to fade in the side of the head here. Coming back with a little bit of white. I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm coming in with just some white. I'm going to do the same thing towards the left. I'm adding a little bit of white so that it looks like hair there. Good. So we're starting to form the side of the head with our grays. We're coming in over the top with the gray, and we're going to start to spread it out towards the middle of the forehead. Okay, so here we're going to start to come in and we're going to start to fill it in towards the top a little bit. And it's going to get a little bit lighter as we start to go higher. So it, the shadow is going to start to fade a little bit. Okay, so you see that? I have that dark gray. But as I start to go higher up, start to pick up a little bit more white and I start to brush that in there as well to start creating that fur effect. And here's an up close view of what that's looking like. Again, see, I do have it a little bit darker here. It's not so overwhelming. Okay, these shadows are very light. So I'm coming back right here. Remember, our eyes are gonna be in this section right here. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna start to define a little bit more of the upper lid of where our eye will be towards the left. So I'm coming in with a little bit of a darker gray and I'm gonna create this little arch here. This arch is gonna form the outside shape of more or less where the eye is gonna be. Again, we are gonna shape the eye with our detail brush, so um, don't feel like you have to shape it with this brush, you don't. This is just gonna be some shadows. Again, we are gonna be going in there with our liner brush to create those details. So here we're gonna bring it down and it's gonna create the shadow on the left-hand side of the face. Okay, so I'm coming in. See, and it's a little bit darker right there, right below the left eye. And on the opposite side of the neck, we're gonna start to have this sort of more or less spread towards the side of the neck. We can finish this off as well. Add a little bit more gray there. And that more or less has the head shape of our cow. Okay, from here, we are gonna start to grab a little bit more of that white now so that we can start forming more of the white hair into that section. So I'm coming back with that white over here. This one sort of scrapes into the side there as well as on this section, it does slather a little bit as well. See, so it's not too dark, it's not too intimidating. Okay, on top as well, maybe a little bit more white on top of this dark section. See, give it a little bit of a personality there. And we're starting to form the side of the head a little bit more. So I'm adding a darker shade of white towards the side of the head. This is where the eye is. And then this is where the cheekbone starts to go down. We're also filling in some white on these spare sections here. Come in with some white, start to scratch that on a little bit. Come in with some white from the bottom up. See, we're just going back and forth with our colors here. Okay, so I'll give you guys some time. I'm gonna let you guys see me working. I am gonna apply a little bit more white towards the top of the ears. So you're gonna see me applying more white to certain areas and more grays to others to bring them out. So I'm gonna give you guys some time to kind of play with your colors and then I'll be going over and explaining what I did and we'll go in and add a little bit more detail. So as we're going in, we're adding some highlight to the bottom of the ear. I'm adding a little bit of shadow and highlight back and forth on the sides of the face. Adding some more shadow underneath the eye, trying to make that pop out a little bit more. Some shadows underneath the ear and above the brow bone to make the eye stand out just slightly more. 
I did add a little bit of a highlight above the shadow. We always want to add a couple of layers of shadow and highlight to make sure that it looks like there's more depth in our painting. Hence why I added a little bit more shadow again. I want to make that brow bone pop out and I want to make the highlight on the right side of the face pop out as well. We're going to highlight the sides. I'm going to go back and exemplify that shadow, make sure that it pops out a little bit more. Um, I want you to kind of look at that shadow as a basis for the rest of the shadows on the face. We do want it to be a little darker and we want it to stand out um, so that it looks like we have a dip. We are adding again a little bit more highlight. Remember to wash off your brush as well. We want to take off all of that excess paint and start fresh to make sure we can spread out our paint better. If your paintbrush gets a little too clunky, go back and wash it and dip it in your paint again and start again. I'm also going to add a slight bit of more shadow right underneath the bottom section of the ear. Coming in and just with my same square brush, bag, br picking up some of that pink color. And I'm adding some pink highlight, just like we added white highlight to the sides of the nostril tops of the ears in certain sections and underlying the bottom section of the ear as well. If you want to add some shadow in between that just to make the light pink pop out, you can do that as well. Alright, so next we're going to grab a little bit of this red and we're going to be making a light pink by mixing it into our white. And we're going to just rub it on the side of the nose here on the top of the nostril. We're not wanting it too light. This is a little too light for me. There we go. And we're just going to come in, outline that side a little bit. We are going to do the same on the right. And we're going to do the same below our ear. Just a little bit. Scratch some of that light pink on there. Okay. You can even add a little bit of yellow to that light pink to make it a sun-kissed pink color. So I added just a little bit of yellow. <clears throat> then it'll make it just a little bit more sunny, a lot nicer. So I tried just a drop of that yellow on there. Such a pretty color. Okay, so we're coming in with that pink. It looks a little bit more natural, more like a skin tone. Okay, next we're gonna grab some of that darker gray that you made, so you're washing off your brush. And we're working in on filling in these sections around the ear and the nostrils at the, at the moment. So we're gonna add some of that black into the white and we're gonna add a little bit of red to it. Remember, we do want a dark gray that does have a tint of red in it. Or So we're gonna pick up that dark gray and we're gonna start to dab it over the pink just slightly and we're going to start to fill these dabs towards the inside of the ear we don't want it to go all the way to the top we just want it to look sort of like it's some shadows or some freckles on the cow's ear just dab it slightly once you get to the top you can scratch it a little bit if you want it to fill in into the hair crease section again we're coming in with that dark gray and we're starting to press it into the ear itself. If you want it a little darker, add a little bit more black to it. And it gives it a very natural freckle look around the ear there. Again, a little bit more black. You can come with just plain black and even dab just a little bit of that plain black on there a little bit as well. Let me zoom into that. So again, you might want to put it maybe closer to the back of the ear so it looks like there's a shadow behind the ear section where the hair is coming out. Okay, a little bit darker. We want to make it a little bit lighter. And now we're going to start to fill in the shadow in between the nose on that snout. We're picking up a little bit more of that black. We want it to be a darker gray. And we're beginning to fill in that snout. It's coming in towards the center. So we're doing sort of like a, a little globe that comes to a point, a little round 
like an upside down curvier teardrop. And then from here, we're gonna go towards the middle. And from that middle, we're gonna curve up the sides a little bit. See that? Giving them like a little smile below. And this is gonna be the nostrils that we're gonna paint in. Okay, so we're coming in there with a little bit of that black. We're beginning to mix this gray into the pink a little bit. So you can come back with your pink and combine it just so it fades into the side of the snout more naturally. See that it's actually combining into the snout now. And then up on top of the nostril, you can come in with a little bit of white and just highlight the bottom sides here. Can make a little almond shape on the side. So we're making these little almond shapes here. Little by little, I start to scrape a little bit of that shadow off to the side there, coming in. It is a little bit darker towards the center of the snout. So if you wanna come back with a little bit of black and add a little bit more shadow there, you can, again, towards the bottom. Okay, cool. So next from here, we're gonna be grabbing our round tip brush. So our round tip brush is gonna be adding a couple of highlights around. So we're gonna come in and just bring out certain sections that need to stand out more, like right here on the side of the cheek. I need to bring that in. Same thing above the brow here. I need to come in and curve the brow in, bring in a little bit of a highlight. So that's what we're using this for, some of the highlights. Some hair, here we do have some hair that's going into the ear. So use that brush to create that. Maybe make it a little bit rougher on top. We're gonna start to scrape some hair on top there as well. So we're gonna start to add all of the little hair details with this brown brush and it's only gonna be our highlight. So it's only gonna be white. If you want to go in and just add a little bit of darker color, go ahead and do that, but do it after you've already added your highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some time to do that. So using my smaller round tip brush, I picked up some white and I'm starting to add some hair. Um, highlight over the top of the head, right in the center, left section of the face. I'm beginning to add some highlights on the right a little bit as well. I want the fur to look as if it's popping out on the top of the ears and on the inside, making sure that each of those hairs stand out. The pressure is very light. You're just pressing and lifting the edge of your brush off the paper to create that wispy hair effect. We're also going around the eye on the brow bone. We're also trying to shape the eye just slightly better. Going off of the side adding some more of those fur lines or some of that effect as if there's fur. We're going around the snout, the sides of the snout, making sure we add some highlight there. And we're kind of brightening it up wherever we see that we need some highlighting around. Again, all of this is about shaping our little cow if you don't like the ear, fix it. If you don't like the shape of the face, fix it. Right now it's the time for you to add all those highlights and all those little scratchy details. I added a little bit right in the center of the snout as well. And again on the sides of the eyes. And we are now going to be using our liner brush. So I hope you guys are ready for that. We're picking up our finest brush, our liner brush. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay, and we are going to be starting off with our eyes. Okay, so we're coming in with our detail brush, making sure we're picking up some of this water, putting it in the corner of our black, 
You want to make that nice and smooth. And we're going to start off first with our left eye. So our left eye, we're going to come in right where our ear is ending. Okay. If you didn't do it so low, you can come back and make it just a little bit lower. I'll probably go in there and find it. But we're going to come in. And we're going to create just a little almond that's closed in. So that we did, we did our first lid, kind of bringing it in slightly from here. We are going to scratch it just down a little bit. We're going to make a little line. That's not where our eye is going to go, though. From here, we're going to pull it from the corner and pull it just slightly in. So here, we are going to make it a little bit wider. And then we're going to bring it inside that line. We're not connecting the lines. There's two lines there. There's this one. And then there's this one. Okay. From there, this eyeball is going to be this whole thing practically. This is going to be all black. Okay, from here. We're gonna make another little line over the top of the lid and we're gonna bring that down. Okay, this is gonna be our eyelid, but once we paint this in, our eyelashes are going to be coming out of this eyelid out towards the outside, okay? So that's why we're leaving that line inside. So next, we're coming in with our black, we're following up right next to that eye. So this one's going to be just a little bit different. This one is actually going to come down to a point slightly. So we're going to bring it down to a point, more of a cat eye. Then we're going to bring it straight up. Same thing, we're going to curve it off to the side. From there, we're coming straight down. This eye is a little bit different. We're seeing more of this eye than this one. This eye is facing more towards the right. So I'm coming in with more of this black over here. We're going to curve it below. And we are going to be bringing that to this cat eye section right there. This eye is actually going to end about right there. That's going to be the pupil. Again, this is going to be where the eyelashes are going to be coming out of. Here's off to the side. You are going to be having a little bit of eyelash there up on top as well. I'm going to create a little bit of a dark shadow for your eyelashes above the lid. Same thing here. There's a little bit of a shadow right here. Very lightly, not too much. Okay, and I'm going to go in and fill that in right now. So I'm using my round tip, picking up some water, and I'm picking up some of that black, and I'm filling this in right here. Right over here, same thing. It's all black. From here, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that black and I'm going to mix it into my white. I want a really dark gray color. Okay, so I'm going for a dark gray, black with some white. And I'm going to add just a little bit of a, of a tear duct here. So this is where our tears are going, color come from. So we're actually going to fill that in. It's going to be a dark gray around our cow. Okay, if you also want to add some of that dark gray on the side of the eyelid, you can as well. And the bottom here too. I believe this eye actually had some white right at the base here. And it wasn't gray, it was actually white. So we're adding some white here to show that part of the eye slightly. 
Okay, and we're gonna add the highlighted section right here. So a little dot there and another little dot right there. Okay, from here, you're gonna start to pull out that gray to start getting the eyelashes from the left eye. We're coming in from the top of the lid and we're starting to just pull the lashes towards the left, coming down from the lid into the eye itself with that white. And if you have some color there, then your colors are gonna be very well mixed in. And you're gonna get a nice variety of grays and whites for the eyelash. You can always come back and add a little bit more white to add a highlight there, you see that? Same thing at the bottom of the eye. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. We're coming in and we're gonna to begin to add some eyelashes. If you wanna add some sort of a shadow above while you guys are working on that, I'm gonna come in and add a little bit of a shadow. I want my eye to look a little bit dipped in up here. So I'm coming in with just a little bit of gray, very light. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of a shadow on top of the lid here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow on the side of the eye just to make this pop out a little bit more. So you come in here and you start to add a little bit more of the finer details. Now that we're working our way down, you can go in there with a little bit more of a finer detail for hair, for fur. Here, right in the middle, we start to add a little bit more highlight. Again, I am working a little bit on the highlight above the eye. Okay, well from the side we're coming in and we're starting to bring in a little bit of that darker black. And we're bringing that black right along the middle, creating a line down the snout. And from this section, we're gonna start to fill in the nostrils. So we're coming in with this black I'm going to start off on the corners here, bring it straight down, okay, incline upwards. Here we're going to sort of pivot it in. And there we go, that's going to be our nostrils. We do want to go in there with our round tip and we want to fill that in. And we add a little bit of shadow around. You can even tap a little bit, add some freckles, make it look a little bit more natural. Even straighten out from the bottom a little bit, make it a little bit, a little bit more square. All right, and there we go. Okay, we're gonna be getting our round tip brush. Actually, let's get our liner brush first. So we're getting our liner brush and we're gonna be mixing some of this blue into our yellow. That's gonna give us a light green. Okay, if you want it to be a little bit more mellowed down, you can pick up a little bit of the white. and maybe even just a little drop of red into that green. And you'll get more of a mellow down olive green combination if you add some red to it. See, so I'm getting a little bit of green. So it's blue yellow with a drop of red and I'm making it a little bit darker as I add red to it. Awesome, so there you go. I have more of an olive color. I'm adding some yellow. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to draw in where we're gonna be placing our halo. So our halo, we do want it over the top of the head, but we want it to curve slightly down. So we're gonna come in, curve it, 
about right there. From here, we're going to have some flowers coming out. So you can actually begin to do that by picking up some of that green with your yellow. Maybe even make some white in there if they dulled down too much. There we go. Green with yellow. Picking up another one and another corner. So these are just small almond shapes that we're making. Right at the bottom, towards the eye, I'm also adding a couple more leaves there. Okay. And then right here at this end, I'm going to draw a couple of more leaves as well. That way, we know more or less where our center flower is going to be. Okay, so there you go. So you could go ahead and start to add some of these leaves down this side of the band here. Okay, so this is the only time that they're actually pointing that way towards the left. The rest of these are actually pointing towards the right. So we're coming in here and we're actually going to start one. So here we're going to have a bunch of varieties. You can even come in and just scratch in some red directly on there if you like that color. If you like the way that that looks, that's also an option. You can go in there with a little bit of yellow and outline just one section. See that? So now we have our same thing on this side. You can come in with a little bit more yellow, even a little bit more white. We'll add some white on there as well right now. You can go in there with some white and just add a little bit of a highlight on there. All right, so there we go. So then from here, we're picking up our white and we're picking up some red. And we're gonna start to make a pink swirly. So we're coming in and we're swirling our pink down to the middle. See that? So picking up, picking up a little bit of red and white and we're swirling it down to the middle. Okay. From here, you're gonna begin to get your white only and your white, you're also gonna begin to just swirl it into the middle. You're gonna begin to make lines going around it, combining with that pink that you placed there going around in circles, creating the look of an intricate flower but just by just doing ripples around the flower. You can even come in and do several swirls towards the middle. If your flower starts to get too light, pick up a little bit more of that red and start to add a variety and we're starting to get that flower already there. You could even do these lines with your detail brush if you want your lines to be a little bit finer. Next, you're going to get some of that red and white, and you're going to tap a couple of berries on the side. So we're adding some berries. If you want to add a variety and maybe you want some other colors, maybe you want some blueberries too. You can mix in some blue and maybe even aqua. I got a little bit of the red color as well, and then you can begin to actually put some berries around with those colors as well. I got a little bit of pink in there. And if it mixes with those colors, you start to get some purple berries. Again, if you don't want to add this, the painting that we're borrowing from didn't have these flowers on there. It just had the pink ones. But I love to add to my painting a little bit. And I love to add a variety of flowers. Again, the painting that we have was not an original. So we do kind of want to switch it up as well. We want to make it our own. 
It was a painting that I got from Pinterest. I really liked it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna teach them how to do this one. Okay, so that's always an option. You can always do little flowers as well. You can always come in with maybe your blue and your aqua, or you can come in and maybe even add a, some blue roses on there. And that's what I mean by getting creative. I love to see you guys just kind of combine your own styles in there. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And you can be like, you know what? I wanted to add another couple of flowers over here. When you're done with this, you're going to go in with your detail brush. Again, if you want to add any final details, if you want to go in there and add maybe some more hair towards the top, you know, if you want to come in and and add maybe a little bit more fur going into the ears, if you want to bring in some highlights coming out, this is your chance to go in there and add all these final little details on there. This is your chance to add all your little details. Now we're coming in, finishing these highlights up. I'm having fun right here with you guys. Okay, well anyways, when you're done with all this, you can come back and you can add your details also if you wanna add more hair with your liner brush so you can come in and just add the final hairs. Maybe you wanna add a little bit more to the ear itself. Maybe you wanna make the details just a little bit better. Maybe you wanna work on these eyelashes a little bit more. Okay, so you come in, do all the final touch-ups. So once you're done with that, you're just gonna come in, you're getting your detail brush, picking up whatever color you'd like. I'm gonna be picking up some white. And off to the right-hand side, we're gonna come in and do our signature. After this, you guys are done. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure to check out all our other videos at www.unwindanddesign.org. See you soon.